It was my father starting the initial borehole. Here I am hooking up a rod at 40 feet and we're going to continue this all the way down to about 87 feet. Now what you see swinging in there is a drill rod carousel that holds a total of 8 rods which is 160 feet. It makes the first 8 rods very easy to control and manipulate and drill the first 160 feet of each well. Now here we are at the end of the day tripping out from 600 feet. If you notice the two different colored rods, you have the darker gray rods and then you have the steel rods, so there's a difference between aluminum and steel. Now those are considerable weight difference. The steel rods towards the left weigh about 360 pounds and the aluminum rods only weigh about 170. This drill rod here weighs 360 pounds and it is a hoss to drag up and lay down on the water truck. We lay a total number of 10 rods on the water truck and 20 rods uh, are held in the drilling rig itself. This will give you a total depth of 605 feet. Now that we have all 10 rods laid on the truck, it's time to strap it down and move it out the way. What I'm being handed here is a check valve that we use when we go past depths deeper than 400 feet. It's hard to tell because of video editing, but working on a drilling rig is extremely loud and extremely hot. Right there I am wearing earplugs and there is a giant six cylinder Caterpillar diesel motor and a humongous radiator and a fan that's constantly blowing the 200 degree air across the rig hand while standing on the platform. That's three down, nine more to go. You know, well drilling has its ups and downs, but working with family, I wouldn't trade that for a thing. I have been doing this job for over 16 years since I was 17 years old. I am now 33 and I have never seen anyone nor have I gotten hurt on the back of this machine while my father was running the control. Now what we're picking up here is called an overreamer. It allows the outside dirt from the outside around your well to be removed to where the cement bentonite grout can be put in its place. Now this part's always a little sketchy. I have to push the overreamer, lay it down while I'm underneath it and hurry up and get out of the wet.
Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for future videos, please drop them in the comments below. Have a good one.